Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. In today's tutorial, as you probably saw by the thumbnail, we're gonna go ahead and create an ERC20 token. What we're gonna go ahead and do is create this ERC20 token with Third Web, and I'll actually show you how you can actually mint NFTs utilizing this ERC20 token. Now, before we jump into the computer here, if you folks aren't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm creating as much videos as possible on how to build and create in the Web3 space and would really appreciate if you folks subscribe to the channel. Now, without wasting any more time, let's go ahead, let's jump on the computer and get started. We're in Third Web's website and I'm already in the dashboard here. We're gonna go ahead and deploy a new contract. And if you scroll down really quick, you're gonna see this token contract here, which is an ERC20 token. We'll go ahead and deploy that. You can read a little bit more about the contract here. We're gonna go ahead and hit deploy in the top right. Now we can go ahead and name our token here, add a description, and we can go ahead and upload a file. And I just have a picture of a little token right over here. We're gonna select the network here down at the bottom. We're gonna keep it on the Mumbai testnet for Polygon. And we're gonna go ahead and deploy this contract. Go ahead and confirm the transaction. After that, we can go ahead and go into our cool token dashboard here. And up top here, we'll go through, we have our Explorer that of course has our write and read functions from our contract. We have our events so we can see all the transactions that happen within this contract. We have our tokens here. As you can see, we don't have any tokens minted just yet. Uh, we have permissions so we can actually set if we have a team or something and add their wallet addresses here and they can go ahead and mint and create new tokens if they choose to do so. Now in the tokens here, again, we don't have a current supply. We don't own any. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is mint some tokens. I'm gonna go ahead and mint 100 tokens. So we'll just put 100, we'll go ahead and mint, accept this transaction here. Once it's done minting, you can see our total supply here is 100 cool tokens and we own all 100 of those tokens. And there you have it. That's actually how you can create an ERC20 token. You can go ahead and mint these tokens. You can transfer them to people. You can airdrop them to other people. And then you can also burn these tokens if you choose to do so. Now, what we're going to do next is take our contract, our NFT collection that we went ahead and made in the last video. And if you didn't see how we created that NFT collection, I'm going to link it up here and down in the description down below as well. But I'm going to show you how we can take that NFT collection and we can actually mint that collection utilizing this ERC20 token that we went ahead and made. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna, before we go back to our NFT collection, we're gonna copy this address here, which is our contract address of our token. We're gonna go back to our dashboard. We're gonna go into our drop collection here and under our claim condition, and what we're gonna do is come down to what currency do we wanna use? We're going to use our custom currency. We're going to paste our ERC20 contract address there and add that in and we're going to select how much we want to charge so let's just say 25 of our cool tokens is what it will cost we'll save that here we will go ahead and confirm our transaction and we'll wait for that to go through so ours went ahead and saved now what we can do is we come over to our embed section here and we see right here we scroll down you can see down here at our embed it has updated and it will now cost 25 cool tokens in order to mint one nft so what we're going to go ahead and do now is implement this embedded code into our website to show you what your buyers will see and how they will interact with the contract if they choose to mint using your erc20 token and as you can see here we have our embed here 25 cool tokens we'll go ahead and mint and what we're going to have to do first is give permissions to use and access the cool token and what we should see is next a transaction that's going to allow us to pay the gas to actually push the transaction through so go ahead and confirm and there you go you can see we have successfully minted our third nft and again we have claim phase that we set of 10 seconds so you won't be able to mint another one and there you go. That's how you can go ahead and create an ERC20 token and now make an NFT collection mintable using 
that ERC20 token. Now, some of you might be wondering how you can use this, and this is a great way if you already have a collection out there and maybe you're looking to release secondary NFTs, you can offer and reward your community with these ERC20 tokens and allow them to mint this new NFT utilizing those tokens. Another way you could utilize this is if you are doing a free NFT mint, you can go ahead and create these tokens. And instead of doing some type of allow list, you can actually airdrop these tokens to these people, which would allow them to go ahead and access the mint and be able to mint the NFT because they would need your token in order to mint it anyways. So you can get really creative with these ideas of how to use the ERC20 tokens and your NFT collection. But if you folks did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell because I'm posting a bunch more of these videos on how to build and utilize Web3 tools. And if you folks do have any other things that you're maybe interested in or you want me to go ahead and cover, leave those down in the comments below. But again, hope you folks enjoyed this and until next time, see ya.